Eyewitnesses often play an important role in identifying criminals and obtaining convictions. Pennsylvania's highest court considered whether the identification testimony of two eyewitnesses, both intoxicated at the time of the crime, was sufficient to support a murder conviction in Commonwealth v. Holden. In December of 1955, Cora Smith was beaten unconscious and robbed in her Pittsburgh home. She died the very next day. The police eventually arrested Charles Holden for the murder. Holden maintained his innocence and insisted that he never even stepped foot in Smith's house on the day or night of the murder. Immediately after the arrest, the police took Holden to the home of his friend Ralph Jones, who'd been with Holden in the hours leading up to the murder. There, the police questioned Jones in Holden's presence. At trial, Jones testified that he thought one of the officers saw Holden wink at Jones while the police were questioning him. Jones further testified that he didn't know whether Holden had actually winked or simply blinked because of something in his eye. But when asked about a statement he previously made to the police, Jones admitted that he thought Holden was winking so that Jones would make up an alibi for him. Additionally, two witnesses to the crime, Alfred Carter and Smith's adult son, Alfred Smith, identified Holden as the murderer. Both of them had been drinking heavily at the time of the crime and were knocked unconscious by the murderer. The trial court ultimately convicted Holden of first-degree murder and sentenced him to life in prison. Holden appealed to the Pennsylvania Supreme Court.